Hey everybody, Jennifer and Chase here for another video. Today's video is the next Hunt a Killer box. This is the fifth box in the series. So we've got one more box after this one and then we will have solved the mystery of the class of 98 high school reunion. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside. Same box design as always. I guess it doesn't really, doesn't have really changed, does it? I'll take the bookmark, the episode recap info. All right. First item that it says we got. Evidence bag. Looks like there's a CD case in here. CD case. Is it? So it looks like. It's a mixtape. It's a mix. Is there actually a CD in? No. There's not. <laughs> That's too bad. There's some writing and stuff on there. So. All right. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. I'll be wearing that later with my. Necklace and alien socks carrying my little tin. If you didn't see our last video, I'll go ahead and link to that above, but we're getting some pretty interesting things from this. That looks like a really thin one. It's a, it's pretty thin. It's, it's just a, it looks like it's just like a generic bag. There's nothing that really stands out as that fantastic, except for it's zipped on both sides of the, the zipper. So I'm gonna do that to undo it. Nothing, I don't think there's any hidden trinkets inside, maybe. I'm wearing this everywhere. Nope. Moving so, forward. All right, what's next? Oh, and then I guess that's it, because next is the, the the packed envelope. Yeah. So let's see if we can get that open. Um, it looks like we're going to have a letter from a private investigator. That's in every box. An interview transcript. Some updated witness statements. Here's our letter. This letter is shorter than the other ones, so it must be she doesn't have a lot to say. Basically, she's saying her sleep pattern is a mess and no amount of coffee or cocktails will help at this point. She is determined to see this investigation through to the end. Awesome. Well, I guess not. There is a turn in this one that's going to be a game changer, it looks like. So, looking okay. forward to that. That is the funeral pamphlet. Yes, funeral pamphlet. For, for our deceased. Charles McDonough. It's funny because the first time that we started reading about all these people, I had an idea of what they look like in my mind. And then we got the pictures in a subsequent box. And this is not... Anything like what you thought? No. No. I was picturing kind of like an overweight guy maybe that... Like a nerdy... Because he's a pharmacist. Do you think he's like, yeah. a, like a... Not that pharmacists are nerdy, but... Kind of, totally already. Kind of like a geeky kind of guy. I don't know. It's just not what I pictured. It's like reading a book. You have a certain way that you think the characters look, and then when you see a movie, you're like, mm, that's not really it's not picture what I thought they look like. All right, so we have some an interview transcript. We have the updated witness statements. It must be all these. A crayon drawing. Oh my. People on the, someone on the ground. A bar tab receipt. There it is. Manifest Dust Tiki. There's a Tiki bar receipt and a ticket. There it is. Ticket that has some kind of code written on the back. Reynolds bus line. Chicago, Illinois. That's it. It seems like there seems like there's more in this box than the previous box. It's definitely getting a little bit harder. We're getting to the end. Kicking it up a notch. So we are gonna go ahead and order our next box because I don't like to wait too long in between boxes. And then our plan is to kind of do like a recap of everything where we do a review and maybe have some spoilers in there um, for any surprises and who did it. Yeah. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and leave us a comment if you have tried the Hunt Killer or if there's any questions that you have for us um, about the boxes. Definitely. And until next time. Next time. Stay magical. Bye. Bye.